Okay, so next steps. If you remember the resources video, I talked about the ZBrush forum uh, at ZBrush Central. And you can find a lot of information there about different scripts. You can even find scripts online through there. And you got a lot of information on this page, on the user guide page of, of uh, ZBrush. If you navigate to, Z, to customizing ZBrush and you go to Z scripting, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff here that you can learn further from this course. You have sample scripts as well. You have something called file utils, and this will expand what you can do with ZScript. As you can see, there's a lot of things you can do with the files. You can delete folders, copy files inside of your application. You can even rename a subtool, as you can see here, in a different way that I taught you. Uh, but this will ask for uh, DLL files, and they're available here to download, so no worries. You can check all these out and this will expand your knowledge about Zscript. At the moment, I'm creating an advanced course which will cover all this and which will give you a lot of different routines that you can use, including a way to use object-oriented language in Zscript, something that I created for you guys for that course. So in that course, I'll give you a bunch of routines and tools to make your Zscripting a lot easier. And that's going to be something that I'll, I'll have for sale in my Gumroad. And that's why I'll, I will keep updating after the first release. I'll keep adding some more videos. And some of those videos, I'll post them in YouTube as free chapters of the course. So I hope you enjoyed this fundamentals course. And that is enough for the things that you want to do. If not, you can carry on by yourself by checking the user manual or, or the ZBrush Zscript forum, or you can wait for my advanced course that will be available on Gumroad and should be available in a few weeks time. Don't forget to like the videos on this playlist, subscribe to my channel for new videos and share this playlist with the world so that everybody can know how to use Zscript to create some cool stuff for them or for selling to other ZBrush users. And I'll see you in the next video.